Well, good morning and uh, welcome to a very, 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 very wet Scotland. <laughs> this is day three of our little van tour. Uh, we've got six of us all sitting in our vans. We woke up for sunrise this morning, but we all stayed in the vans because as you can probably hear, it is bouncing on the roof. It has not stopped all night. It's not stopped all morning. Uh, sunrise was, oh, sunrise is in about 10 minutes, but we're definitely not gonna be doing that. Um, so we're going for plan F, I think we're on. <laughs> um, we're heading up to Glen Fennan Viaduct. Now the train will come across at 10.45 this morning. So we're gonna head up there an hour earlier than what we were planning on doing, and we're gonna park up, maybe have another cup of coffee, because I've only had one so far this morning. And uh, yeah, that's basically the plan really, to get up there and have a look at that. Now, we may just venture out the vans in the wet gear and just make the most of it, but it definitely wasn't worth getting wet for no sunrise. So at least we could get wet to see a steam train maybe. I don't know, I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's not looking good at the moment and it's given a bad forecast all week. Out of all the weeks of the year, I think we have picked the wettest, the wettest week on earth. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Stick with us, let's see what happens for day three on this video, bit of a van tour. We've had breakfast, Nigel made us a nice egg and sausage breakfast this morning and knocked on the van door and said, here you go guys, so that, that was cheered me up. Um, so yeah, let's see what happens, I don't know, I can't promise you anything. If you stick with it, then thank you for staying with us. See you later on. I'll have to get this lot. So we have just come across the Corran Bridge, one of my favourites. Uh, you'll be seeing it probably playing in a bit of B-roll. Um, absolutely stunning little bridge. I love all these ironwork bridges and I've taken a few photographs of it in the past from further back. I think I've got a rainbow with it and uh, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, we're still heading down towards Fort William now. Uh, we're going to head past Fort William up to Glen Fired Up. So we've all got radios, I can say. We've got the radios here as well, so I can hear what everyone's saying and talking about. So it's quite a good little community when we're out like this. And if you don't have radios and you ever do come out, we've got a few spare ones to share around as well. Um, but it does make a difference. And we are heading towards using CBs as well. We're going to bring the CBs back alive uh, for when we're out in the vans and stuff like that. I've actually got one up here that I've got to get wired up. Uh, and I will be doing a review on it. So if you are interested in moving forward, something like that in the future, check this one out when I get around to doing it. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna shut up again now, concentrate on me driving, and make sure we've got everyone together until we get to Glenfinnick and I'll speak to you again. So we've made it to the, the Glen Finnan viaduct area. Uh, we pulled up in the car park. Um, it's a three pound 50 to park your car. If you're a National Trust member, you're supposed to leave your ticket, your card on the dashboard, uh, which is all good. And then, uh, yeah, we're gonna make our way now up to the viaduct to get ourselves in position. Sorry about that. Up to the viaduct to get ourselves in position. We've got uh, about half an hour before it all uh, happens. We've just seen an absolutely amazing, 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 amazing double rainbow. The vivid, most vivid one I've seen for a long, 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 super long time. And uh, I managed to get a picture of it on my phone in the car park. And that's about as best as it was going to get. Um, but yeah, no, it's, uh, it's really good. Can't wait to get up there now. But the weather's really on and off. We're going to get wet and dry and wet and dry. On the walk now, we're walking from the car park. It's not very far, it's only a 10 minute walk apparently. We need to be on the far side of the viaduct and this is all to catch the train. Uh, we're not the only ones here. The car park's starting to fill up because everyone's here to, to probably see the same thing. Um, but the plan is to get up, get the camera set up, uh, possibly, possibly get the drone out, uh, even though it's a no-fly zone. But if we're over the far side in the distance, up on the hills, it shouldn't be a problem just to see it from a distance. Um, but yeah, I will, will, I will get a bit of video for you and hopefully, hopefully we can get a photograph. That's what it's all planned for. That's what we're all hoping to do. 
get a nice train coming across with the steam puffing away so let's keep our fingers crossed and I'll see you at the top of the hill now if you don't know this viaduct is the one that was used in the Harry Potter films so it's as extremely famous as you can possibly get proper Harry Potter full-on Denise has wanted to do this for a long time it's right there in front of me so let me flip you around and I'll show you where we're heading that's where we're going from this side it looks a bit blah but when we get in the right position it's gonna look fantastic Whew. walking uphill now a little bit but check that little boy out isn't that a beauty this is what it's all about getting this sweeping arch and we need to be up that way so we can see the far side of the arch and get the train coming in from Fort Williams from this side coming this direction it's due in at 10.45 so we've got 20 minutes to get in position Steve's way up in front uh, Denise and Cora and Nigel behind so we will get here I just need to work out how to oh, there's a gate here we'll make it through this gate we're now on the other side of the viaduct anyway right oh dear I'm panting oh, through the gate and like you say now 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 we're on the right side of the viaduct we just need to get some elevation going as you can see I've got my brolly out it's levering it down at the moment but uh, it's not going to put me off we will be getting the camera and we will be getting a shot no matter what just missed an absolutely fantastic bit of light it was absolutely <laughs> superb just now I just couldn't get my camera out quick enough Nigel's just about to join me on my right hand side uh, we've got the Darren and Darren down on the left with Mrs C and Steve Stan's gone up a little bit higher uh, to uh, get a slightly higher viewpoint but I'm quite happy on the viewpoint I've got here I think uh, I like I like the dynamics of this one I don't want to be too high I just I just think we're perfect have a look at this look at that how cool is that plan is to get to the train just as it comes out the end of the rocks before the tree and uh, yeah get the sweep coming round. you've got a nice mountain backdrop and everything this is why this is so famous and so popular it's an absolute stunner so there are the other two guys down there with mrs c and stain is up there somewhere behind the trees so uh, yeah that's the plan as soon as this rain lays off a little bit i'm gonna get my tripod out get the camera on with a bag over it sit and wait we've got about about 25 minutes before the train's due to come through and uh, we get a bit of an advance because we can see it up in the distance coming this way so fingers crossed wish us luck it is really full up here there is a lot a lot of people around absolutely dozens of people here to see this so you can just just goes to show how popular it is most of them are probably harry potter fans but I think if you're up in the area, then it's a, a must-see do, a must-do see, which is why I've promised Denise several times and never got around to doing it. But we're here now, the camera is set up. I'm struggling with my ISO and I'm trying to get my shutter speed up. I'm up at 800 at the moment because uh, the light's sort of fading. It's gone down quite a lot. But if the light picks itself up, I'll be able to drop my ISO back down. But I'm more concerned about getting the sharp shot than I am a grainy one. So, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll keep working on it. I'm at F7.1. That should give me a little bit more speed and uh, focus on the front of the viaduct so we'll give it a go see what happens start off iso 800 i want to try and get a shutter speed of about 125th if anything because it's not a, it's not a race car is it it's a train at the end of the day um, but we'll see what happens after the long anticipation it's on its way we can see a mild part of steam in a far off in the distance so i'm going to flip the camera around leave the camera running while we're shooting the lights dropped off unfortunately but i have got some nice light on the train tracks and stuff so i can light paint it all back in but it's definitely on its way. Woo! 
it will start steaming as he climbs over the bridge. It's a bit of a climb there. Normally starts puffing about now. Yeah. That's all folks. <laughs> That's it. That was what we waited for. We stood here for half an hour, waiting for the train to come across and it come across. How cool was that? So I'm gonna stop talking now, pack all this lot away, we're gonna walk down. We're gonna set up on the other side of the bridge and get a couple of landscape shots looking up the hill. Now, none of us are gonna know until these are really sharp and really cool until we get home. So I've rattled off loads of shots as it come across the bridge. So hopefully we've got one that works. So. Wait until I get home. You're going to see it way before I do. Enjoy this last photo of the, well, not a last, the next photo, the first photo, the first photo of the day. This is the best photo of the lot. So enjoy this one and I'll see you in a little while. gotta say that was pretty exciting there's an awful lot of people there all waiting for that to come across and lots of people singing harry potter tunes and all sorts uh i've just taken another photograph down here as well because i think this down here looks pretty awesome with the dark sky behind it and the light on it uh so yeah i've got a shot from here and i think we're going to go up the other side of the hill to try and get a shot looking back and you never know we might even get a rainbow um the weather conditions have definitely sort of lending themselves yes there is a rainbow i'm going to stop talking i'll get a shot be back in a minute actually right behind me I just managed to get a, a panoramic I think of uh, the viaduct but I haven't managed to get the rainbow I don't think it's strong enough but I did take one of the arch with a rainbow in the middle of the arch so if it did come out I'm gonna show you because rainbows are very hit and miss and to be in the right place at the right time and the right conditions well there's a lot of pluses and minuses going on in there but you can see the light on my face that's the perfect stuff for that gray stuff behind and all I need to do though is get myself in a position where I can actually get it if it happens. So I'm going to hang around here for a moment and see what happens because this is perfect. Uh, perfect for getting it all in in the pan over. Yeah, I'm on the six, I'm out. We are on the move. We've done the viaduct. Uh, we've done the choo-choo train. Unfortunately, the rain has come back in big style. It hasn't let off for the last probably half an hour, 25 minutes, half an hour. So I've called it, uh, it's 12 o'clock, quarter past 12, so we need to make our way forward. So we're heading back now towards Fort William. Uh, we've got some supplies to pick up. Everyone wants to grab some supplies from Morrison's. 
We're also going to hit the showers at the train station, £3.20 or £3.50 for a towel and a shower. So uh, we're all going to grab some showers. And on the way past, as long as it's not raining, we're going to call into the um, Caledonian Canal uh, Marina car park on the top of Fort Williams, try and get the uh, shipwreck that looks down at Ben Nevis. So depending if we can get a break in the rain, we'll get out and go and get that. Uh, if not, then I'm not sure where we'll speak to you, uh, but we'll probably be, end up being clean and shiny by then. But there's an awful lot of rain and it's given full on 100% torrential rain and high winds tomorrow. So uh, God only knows. And I don't know what that camera's looking at, but <laughs> it could be anywhere at the moment. Oh, I'm back. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. Just thought I'd let you know what we're doing. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in a bit. We are here. We're at the uh, Caledonian Canal meetup point. Um, it's a big marina. And this is the Caledonian Canal that runs between us. And you've got some big locks that take you out onto the lock, which is Fort Williams Lock, whichever one that is. And then onward up through to Scotland. This goes all the way through Scotland, this canal. And what we're doing is we're going just beyond them trees, just over there, literally just beyond them trees. Uh, we're going to shoot the wreck. And I have shot it before. If I remember, I'll put a link up in the corner for you so you can have a look at when I shot it last time. Um, conditions were a lot different to this, but I still don't think we can remember, if I rem or if I remember, seeing Ben Nevis in the background. And it is there. Ben Nevis is that one up there, behind that lot. But you can't see it. You can't see it at all. So, uh, he's doing a he's doing a stainy look. He's videoing me, videoing him, videoing me, videoing him, videoing him, videoing me. <laughs> just going to make our way across the lock so uh, yeah this is going to be the interesting part we're off these are big locks as you can see these are not like our normal English locks these take a lot of water and some rather big ships not just canal boats we're on the beach look we're on the beach we're down here we're uh, doing our thing we are now on the seaside. Well, not quite the seaside. And this is our wreck in front. And actually, conditions wise at the moment, pretty, pretty good. Have a look at this. Now I know you can't see the top of Ben Nevis, but that is our little wreck just there. That is the, I've forgotten what it's called already. I just had a look at the road sign, core pack. I think it's a core pack wreck. I think that's called. Uh, so yeah, I think we're gonna fill our boots, get a couple of photographs of this and very sharply move on. Otherwise, we are not gonna have enough time to be doing everything we need to do because we need to get to Sky tonight and it's a long trip, a long, long way to go. Right, I'm gonna get my camera set up and I'll show you a couple of images. Images? Images. Now, I'm not sure if you can hear me or not, but I've got a cork river shot set up. I'm actually in a vertical orientation and uh, I've got this beautiful water line coming from the bottom corner. Um, so right down in the bottom half of the image is all water flowing across and I've managed to get myself in a position where I've got rid of all the distractions, all the rubbish, all the horrible stuff that's actually in the water. Um, so I'm doing a bit of a focus stack to make sure I get everything in focus but I'm at F11 at the moment and I've got a little free stop on there to give me a bit of movement in this water and I'm also going to take the free stop off just in case it's too much and take the same shot again. Using the polarizer, it just gives me that little bit darker, crisper water in the areas where I need it, rather than it just being a big blur and a big mess. Um, but yeah, I think this is quite a nice little shot. I'm also gonna try the same again in uh, horizontal, but I think this will work quite nice. But there's no distractions in the background. It literally is all about the boat and uh, the mountains and the water, which is really quite nice. I'm gonna try, I might try zooming in a bit more if I can and get less water um, I'm not sure if it'll work quite as well, but I'll give it a go. Get a little bit less water in the frame and compose it so the boat... I need that line there. The boat's got to be on the left-hand side, sort of leading out the image, because I need that frothy line you'll see on the right-hand side, bottom of the image. So I'll give this one a go as well. Try this and uh, see if it works.
these two guys I've just pushed in front of, or put, nudged them to the side, they actually recognised me from YouTube, which is pretty cool, isn't it? Uh, thought they were from locals, but they're definitely not locals. They're in Mr. Heaton's territory, and he's had a run in a few with the big boy as well. <laughs> uh, quite a nice little shot I've got set up at the moment. I've come up a little bit higher. Um, this little flow of water now is the bottom half of the image. I'm not sure if it's too much water. Um, if it is, I can crop it to a 10 by 8 and just take a chunk off the bottom. Um, but you've got this line where the water's running into the sort of like plunge pool area. It's giving you a bit of a line. Uh, so I quite like the shot. Um, I'm going to bracket it again because I need to keep it all in. I'm going to hit the shot really quick so some people walking on the beach and I want to beat them to it. But the, the clouds and the hillside in the background looks really, really good. So uh, hopefully it's going to make quite a nice little shot, that one. I'd like to get a horizontal. I'm always a horizontal person more than I am a vertical, but the horizontal is just not working quite the same, I don't think. Uh, I like horizontals because they fill the frame. But I don't know. May, I, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe it might work. It might just work. Let's just see if we can uh, just snatch a crafty one. And then uh, we're going to move on, I think, because we're definitely running out of time for the day. Let's see if we can get this. No, the people are going to walk down. They gave us a benefit of a doubt. I'll take it anyway, see if I can clone them out if they're moving. Just typical, the Evans have opened up big style again, so we're absolutely getting pelted. So we're all running back to the vans now. And we'd all just sort of dried out as well. Typical, isn't it? But that's Scotland for you, you can never tell what's gonna happen. So I can't talk one old this brolly and the camera, because I've got the brolly up as well. Uh, just trying to keep some of the water off us. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna catch up with you somewhere else later on when it's not raining, I hope. See you soon. is this we've got a shower no time limit we just got a fiver for a shower so we're gonna fill our boots get nice and clean for the rest of a few days and uh, yeah all is good see you later See, the weather's changed a little bit at the moment, but this is an in-between the rainstorms. We are on the road, we're on the A87 heading up towards Sky now, so we're all together, all bunched up. I'm leading at the moment, um, trying to find a few pull-in places just so we can get a few snapshots. I know there's one at the top, uh, there's a big viewpoint looking over Lock Galley, which is quite nice. I might pull the lads in there, let them have a look at that. Uh, and there's a couple of nice locks on the way down towards before you get to Sky. And then we've got Ellen Dunn and Castle, so we might have to have a look at that as well. So. The weather's in between, there's been some really nice rainbows, but we just can't stop and take pictures of them, unfortunately. So I'll check back in as soon as I can. Um, there's not much I can do other than drive at the moment, we've got about 100 miles to go, so speak to you soon.
Yeah, I know. It's, this can be stunning here. It's just, it's just not playing ball. Right, so we uh, had a slight change of plans. I just put in a postcode to try and get to El Gore Beach for sunset and we weren't going to make it. So we've quickly turned round and we've had a three mile drive back to come back to Ellen Dunham Castle. Now, the light is nothing fancy, not at all. But we are here, everyone's getting a photograph and it means we don't have to come back another day, even though we probably will on passing because it's a nice little location anyway. So I'm going to try and see if I can drown my sorrows with a bit of a, a long exposure. I'm going to whack it on. I'm going to put a 10 stop on, I think. I'll just put the 8 stop on. I'm going to put a 10 stop on, see if I'm going to smooth the water out a little bit. Get the clouds a bit fuzzy in the background and see what happens. That's giving me 30 seconds. Oh, it's a bit too long, actually. I'm going to take the 10 stop off. That's way too much. Let's go back to the 6 stop. And we're going to finish the video here after this photograph. Uh, no light. Nothing spectacular. So if I take it up to F18, let's go F16. That's going to give me 15 seconds. So I'm going to knock that, let that run its course. And I think we're going to end the day here. So uh, I can't promise much tomorrow because tomorrow it's going to be extremely, extremely wet. So I can't guarantee a lot of photographs at all. Uh, we're probably going to get wet again in a minute as well. But um, yeah, it's giving a lot of rain tomorrow. So I don't know what we're going to do. My plans have changed slightly. So I'll make it up as I go along, I think. Um, but yeah, this is not a bad little photograph to finish the day off. Not a bad little photograph to finish the video off today. And uh, yeah, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to share the video. It's really important. And uh, yeah, give us a thumbs up. It does make a difference to the old algorithms. And drop us a comment. Let us know what you think of these random me shouting around, jumping in and out of the shower and going shopping and things like that. Is it, is it worth me doing? I should just stop it and go back to doing what I normally do. Oh, well, I will be anyway. This is just our Scottish tour and it's going to be a bit random. It's going to be a bit different and a bit uh, wacky and crazy, I think. So um, yeah, till next time. Ciao for now. I'm sure there's not going to be much after these photographs and uh, we'll see you in the morning somewhere else next week. See you soon. So the strange thing with me and vlogging, and you know it, is it's never over until it's over. And I've switched the camera back on again. I've said all my goodbyes, I know, but I thought I'd just switch you back on just to say another goodbye and show you the last final couple of images. I may even get my drone out and have a quick blast over the top of the castle because it's quite calm and the rain stopped raining again. And uh, the castle's all lit up. How beautiful is this? Have a look at this. The castle's all lit up. And see if I can zoom in for you and give you a bit of a, a taster. I'm not doing very well with this camera. Bear with me, my hands are very cold. Let's pan you around there. Then we'll hit the zoom button and zoom you in. Look at this. How beautiful is that? And we'll just zoom you in a bit more if we can. There we go. So, that is what we are shooting. We are shooting nice and low so we can get the castle right down in the bottom down there and all the sky up in the top there because we don't want any of this water it's not very interesting but we're just looking and concentrating on this little section there with the mountain behind it and I've come down on the beach to get it as well but really really pretty very nice lit up looks quite nice and with the 5140 on it really is making it sharp and crisp a beautifully beautifully sharp image um, at 1.5 seconds that is at f11 so that's what we're shooting might let it go down a little bit darker and then we're definitely going to call it a day we don't mind now driving into sky in the dark and uh, i know a park up which is where i'm going to head to so we're going to finish off the evening here and uh, i've already had my cup of coffee so until next time i will be seeing you soon in a new location quite possibly the fairy glen but we'll have to see um if not some special dinosaur footprint so yeah, check us out next week. See you soon. I'm definitely going now. Ciao for now. Last few images, maybe a little bit of drone footage. And uh, yeah, stay safe. See you soon.